Hey angels, I'm back again uh, for episode two of Space Quest One. I um, I'm actually really like having a lot of fun with this, so I hope you guys are too. Um, we've just gotten into the caves below Corona, and we're gonna keep going, shall we? Look around. This is one end of what appears to be a large cavern. The only way to go is to the left. There is a rock nearby. Well, if it mentions a rock, we're probably gonna need that rock. Hey, take rock. Done. Let's go. All right, off we go. He's got a very like, very like haughty chest first walk. Okay, this definitely looks like something could kill me here. Um, <laughs> look around. Oh, I don't understand a route. Of course you don't. That's because it's not a word. There we go. This is another large chamber in the underground complex. There is a path on the back wall which is not accessible from the bottom. And it didn't mention the big carpet grate in front of me. I'm just gonna like... Uh... Nice. Great. No. That's a great. Great. Nice. <laughs> Alright. Let's just have a little str- oh! Well. <sighs> Should have really seen that coming, hadn't I? You have been snatched from existence by a tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Hot. Love that. Well. I've died again. Better luck next time. Thank you. Thank you. Let's just let's just go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and restore. That's a great great. <laughs> now, I think we can sneak by up here. Yeah, nice try, tentacle man. No, thank you. I'm outie. All right. Um, look, guys. Oh. Geyser here it is rhythmically spewing steam. Now, that rock we got before goes here. There we go. Plug the geyser and the door opens up. How nice. Like, how would you ever figure that out if you didn't know it already, right? Oh, I think my volume might be set a little bit low. Let me just, uh... Okay. Just turn that up. Just a touch. There we go. Now, uh, look around. No? God, I can't type. There's a slightly smaller chamber in the underground complex. There's a path above, which is not accessible from here. There's a pool on the right side. Well, just a nice little pool. Now, <laughs> that's, that's, that's a pool of acid. So uh, let's, not, uh, let's not mess with that right now. So let's just get out of here through these caves. Am I, am I going the right way? Yes, okay. Now, back here. Um, oh god. Uh, I don't remember how to get out of this bit. Well, while I fumble aimlessly around in this cave for a second, um, let me just say that, um, I really appreciate all of you guys watching. Um, I sort of did this on a whim. I was, like, lying in bed one night and I was like, I, I feel bad that I'm gonna leave everybody with nothing like to watch or listen to for like two weeks so um instead of doing that i was like let's just you know let's just record something you know anything and this was the first thing that oh excellent that came to my mind so i i did this look oh 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 that was so close <sighs> I nearly died. <laughs> Look around. Uh, you're in a large room in the cabin. There is a pathway above. Near the south end of the room are two odd looking units emitting beams of light. Now that is a laser. <laughs> and I almost walked straight into it. 
So uh, before I inevitably do walk straight into it, let's just save again. Um, rave cave laser party. Okay. Um, may as well just show you what happens. I'll just you know, there's, there's a lot of fun, weird ways to die in this game. So let's explain one of them. Yep, there we go. Oh. You are now lying on the floor in many pieces. Guess those beams meant business, Roger. <sighs> yep. I died of horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. Well, not really. I more at the hands of myself, but you know, we'll, uh, we'll ignore that. Back to the Rave Cave laser party. Now, remember that tiny piece of glass that, oh god. <laughs> that tiny piece of glass that I found earlier. Um, what we do here is we get the glass and put it in the laser. It's can't be done from here. Oh God, where do I do that from? How about down here? Can't be done from here? Oh God, where do I do that from? Maybe I have to stop right in front of it, which is frustrating because this, auto this is an auto walk. Um, I have to keep hitting five on the numpad in order to stop myself, which is why I almost died last time. Put glass in laser. There we go. Nice. You have quite cleverly turned the beam upon itself, frying it into inoperability. Yeah! How good. Alright, now... Uh, there is something that I haven't done yet that I need to do because otherwise I will not be able to finish the game. As is often the case with this game, if you miss one tiny thing, well, get wrecked, I guess. Now, uh, we will remember that back on the ship in the first episode, I got a gadget. What gadget? It is still on my person. Written on the electronic gadget are the words Dialect Translator. On one end is a dial and a light, currently dim. Turn dial. You turn the dial to the right, the light begins to glow. Now that is important because now we can understand aliens with our handy dandy Dialect Translator. Okay. Okay, 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 all right, all right, okay. Now you see that pool down the bottom with the acid dripping down? What do you think these little drips are up here? These delicious little drippies. That's what I'm gonna call this save file because we're absolutely gonna die here. Delicious little drippies. Okay. <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. This is like one of my least favorite things to do, is get timing right. Yeah! First try! No one will ever believe me. Okay, now I'm up here. Now if I fall down onto that grate, I will die. So let's just stay on the pink and not fall into the drink. Speaking of drink. And take myself a little sip of water. Let's keep going. Okay. As soon as you enter the room, you find yourself surrounded by darkness. Suddenly you become aware of the fact that you cannot move or speak. A strange unknown force has taken over. Oh, I got a sweet alien, dude. Massive holographic image appears before you. You sense that you are the only life form in this area. How exciting. It's just, you know, what I like to do on a regular Friday night. Just go into a dark room and experience giant alien presences. <laughs> there were so many, so many ways I could have made that worse. And I didn't. You're all welcome. Hello, dude. What's going on? So, you have found your way to my hallowed chamber. If we hadn't turned on the dialect translator before, we would have no idea what this guy is saying and uh, would be completely screwed up. Yes, we have indeed. Shall I give him a voice? I will. I have been monitoring your travels on our planet. It appears that you are up the proverbial estuary without a means of locomotion. Uh, up Shit's Creek without a paddle. <laughs> 
I said that on stream in a hard way once and he laughed really hard, so don't tell him I got it from here, okay? You are obviously in need of transportation. How did you notice? My legs aren't quite good enough. I need super legs. Let us see if you are worthy of our assistance. Well, thank you, big alien man. I appreciate that. On the surface lives a beast called Orat. He proves to be a bit of an annoyance on occasion. Dispose of him and bring back evidence of your conquest. Only then will I deal with your plight. Good luck, strange one. Well, thank you, Mr. Alien Man. And he, lovely, kindly, drops us back on the surface of the planet where, again, we will save so we don't have to go through all that BS over again. Um, nice alien man gave us a lift. All right. Now. Um, okay, this is another instance, by the way, on this planet's surface, as you will have noticed when we got here in the first episode. Um, it's 40 degrees. It's very hot. We are being timed. Um, and that dehydrated water that we got is important because, uh, well, for a couple of reasons, but partially because uh, if we, if we, uh, stay here for too long, okay, all right. If we stay here for too long, we can dehydrate and die. Now, we have a rock here. Look, rock. It's a very large rock on the natural bridge. I'm gonna save again here because, like I said before, we have one shot of this. All right, rock on. Now, I'm gonna push it once. I'm gonna do a test push first, just to see where it lands. I think it lands on that line underneath the green bit. Um, okay, yes, it lands with a pleasing thud. All right, so just on the edge of that line, and we're going to restore to rock on. God, I've thought up some good names for this. And we're gonna stand here and wait and push rock till that spider droid walks under this rock so we can smack it in the head and kill it, because otherwise we are going to have problem-roonies. And you know me, I'm not a huge fan of a problem this might take a while of just sitting here and waiting for this little spider boy to walk underneath our rock. But we can only hope it'll happen soon. Oh! Oh no! Get back here, you bastard! Come back! Come on. Um... So... I kind of want to play the rest of the Space Quest games on this channel. Um, I've been really enjoying this one. Um, Space Quest V is my favorite of all of them. Um, it's got one of my favorite characters in it. Um, Space Quest IV has a narrator who has the most amazing voice ever. <laughs> um, Space Quest II is, is a good extension of, of this game, and Space Quest Three has a, um, a lot of good bits in it. Oh, oh, this might be it, this might be it. Come, come on. Come on, come on, you can do it! Oh my god. He's teasing me. Okay, okay, all right, I'm ready. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was saying about the, the guy that, uh, he sent me the Monkey Island games. And uh, I've never played Monkey Island before, so I figured, um, oh, if I was going to do a point-and-click adventure, then I'd start with something that I know, so we're starting with Space Quest. And then uh, maybe I'll play Monkey Island through on my own, and uh, then play it with you guys. Get under the freaking rock! It's like hurting cats, except it's hurting... The heat is causing you to develop quite a thirst. A drink of water would certainly be most pleasant. Alright, drink. Drink water. You place your lips to the nozzle and draw. A fluid, no oh, this is our dehydrated water. Not very reasonable facsimile of water is released slowly. While trans tasting slightly terrible, it quenches your thirst, at least for the time being. Okay, so. You ready to push that rock again? We can't do that too many more times because we need that water. But we can do it a couple of times. Alright, this is it, this is it. No! You bastard! <sighs> I hope I didn't just miss my chance. Oh my god. It's like, 
it's like watching <laughs> like the DVD logo on a screen, on a TV screen, bounce around and you're like, when's it gonna get in the corner? When's it gonna get in the corner? When's it gonna get in the corner? Except that this is a rude spider droid who is stuck at the bottom of the screen and not helping me. This is, oh my God. Oh my God. Come on, come on. All right, all right, all right. Yeah! It was not known that you were the master of the rock. Well, now you know. It was a fine effort. Thank you, sir. Okay, we did it. Oh, took its sweet ass time. Let's go. Let's go and get that Orat. Oh, I don't remember where he is. I think... I think that hole in the side of the cliff over to the right is a cave, and I think that's the cave where Orat is. But we don't have to worry about the spider droid anymore, which is fan-freaking-tastic. <sighs> it's a bit of- I mean, it's a, it's a shake-up from Sea of Thieves, that's for sure. But, uh, I don't just like playing Sea of Thieves. You know? I'm a, 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 a woman of many talents. Okay, now. Once we go in this cave, there's no going out. So, let's save again. Save as... I'm trying to think of a good pun for this. You all right, mate? God, that's terrible. So many of you are cringing. Every single one of you, I hope. Um, all right, now, what we gotta do There's actually a couple of ways to kill the Orat. One of them is using the spider droid. But uh, the one that I'm going to go with is using that dehydrated water. Now, there he is. Throw water at Orat. Oh shit, I didn't make it in time. <laughs> what have we here? Oh. Man, that's so rude. I didn't even get a chance to throw the water at you. This is why we save frequently. Chat? I call you guys chat. Save me. <laughs> oh, what's a Twitch streamer? Always a Twitch streamer. Orat has transformed you into a new source of recreation. You, of course, don't survive this treatment. It's tough to make friends around here. That's relatable, dude. All right. <laughs> All right, let's restore that. And now I think that I can throw water at Orat. And then we can go in and then I can hit enter. All right, let's go. Because he moves pretty quick. And throw. Nice. All right. Always in the mood for a snack, snatches the can out of the air with his spacious oral cavity, chews and swallows it. He notices a rumbling deep within his abdomen. Well, that can't be good. Not for you, anyway. Ha ah ha! Get wrecked. That's what you get for turning me into a basketball. Orat's eyes prove to be bigger than his stomach for once. Incapable of becoming history's first living reservoir, his body succumbs to the intense internal pressure created by nearly 10 gallons of instantly reconstituted water. As a special bonus, you have received a much needed shower. Gross. <laughs> now, I don't know if you guys saw, but when our little man exploded, he dropped a bit over here. And our alien friend said he wanted proof that we killed the Orat. So look ground. On the ground rests a gleaming chunk of Orat's anatomy. Take Orat. Okay, take Orat pot. You reach down and take the Orat pot in your hand. Some of it oozes to fill the space between your fingers. Yuck. Gross. Now. We gotta go all the way back to the alien. Rudely, he won't let us take his shortcut from before. So we just have to smash it out and head back our own way. Go our own way. Man, just 
Sorry, I just noticed that my mouse was on the screen. I'm, so, I'm mad about that. I didn't see it before. Um. Oh, God. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's, um... It feels very strange. A, playing a game that's not Sea of Thieves. And B, not having you guys to talk to here. Like, it's... I mean, it's weird because that's how I'm... It's, I am probably feeling now overseas by myself, but um, it's it's nice to think that at least a couple of you will sit down and watch this and hopefully enjoy this playthrough. Um, I know it may not be many of your thing because obviously it's not Sea of Thieves and my face isn't on the screen so you may not feel, I don't know, connected to it in the same way that you would to my regular content but I hope you guys enjoy it nonetheless because I made this um, just because I want something for you guys to do and to think about, you know? Anyway, let's get going to this alien dude. You gotta go back down here, through the middle. And obviously if there's like other games like like this or not like this that you would be interested in watching me play, then just chuck them in the comments because, you know, I'd be super interested in, um, in what you guys have to say. Now, um, I'm gonna stop here again. It's amazing that we've stopped for the second episode in the same place as before, but this is um, the end of this bit where I will pick this up again uh, in the next episode. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys.